Watch what's approaching, the supreme moment. Reality striking, closer than it seems, don't it? Go ahead, it's for the taking if you want it. If not, the dream dies and you'll be forever haunted. Then confront it. Well, it's good. So, along with the information on the Transforming Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks and Transforming Majin Buu units, I have to say, I am extremely happy about these guys getting Awakenings, and I wanted to do a separate video for this because I want to cover it in as much details as I can, but it's funny because I actually did do a video, like, today and, like, the other day about units that never awakened, and sure enough, this thing is happening, so... Let's go ahead and take a look because it was long overdue these guys getting an awakening. I'm very very happy about that and, and uh, I think a lot of us are so we'll start off with the super intelligence super saiyan goten unit. Again this is the very first time we're seeing <clears throat> an awakening for this unit and I think with the uh, upgrades I am I haven't seen it yet so I'm expecting a lot of good stuff to happen with the uh, Dokkan awakening so <clears throat> Uh, for the leader skill, starting off, Kamehameha category, key plus 3, HP, attack, and defense, increase 100%, and or uh, intelligence or physical type, uh, units get key plus 3, HP, attack, and defense, increase <clears throat> of 70%. So not too bad there. I think uh, for the link sets, pretty much everything is in fact the same. Uh, the only difference is fierce battles added on to this unit now, which is good. That's a 15% increase toward attack, so that'll that'll certainly help. Alright, so here we go with the passives. So, attack increase of 120%, very nice. Um, reduces damage taken by 40%. And then if a kid trunks or um, Krillin unit is on the rotation, um, upon activating super attack, additional attack increases 70%. And then uh, reduces damage taken by additional 30%. It, yeah, I, I don't know if I read that right, but... 70 uh, 40 percent uh flat flat out you know reduces damage and then 30 percent additional reduces damage taken uh when you have a kid trunks or krillin unit on the same rotation so yeah these guys are about to be very very good on their certain you know team setups and it's going to be pretty amazing you know i think in terms of categories i, I think it should be the same for the most part hybrid scenes uh, Majin Buu Saga, Movie Heroes, Goku's Family, Youth, Super Saiyan, uh, Siblings Bond, and Kamehameha. But I am actually very, very excited about this. Now that I know for a fact what the uh, upgraded passive skills are, I, yeah, there's certainly a lot of uses for this. Hopefully you guys were smart and uh, didn't, you know, sell the units to the, uh, the Baba Shop or copies to the Baba Shop. Um, Rule of thumb is always to keep it, you know, at least get, you know, SA to max and unlock all dupe paths. Obviously, you can sell the cop extra copies after that, but, you know, this is a prime example of why you, you don't want to sell copies of units that haven't been fully unlocked because these types of things do happen. I mean, ad additional increase of 70% along with that 120% toward attack, 30% additional reduction of damage on top of 40%. Yeah, you're looking at a pretty phenomenal unit here. <clears throat> and then upgrade to the uh, super attack, of course, uh, previously I think it was 20%, so that has changed to 30% uh, allies attack for one turn, so yeah, this guy's about to be very, very good. I uh, can't wait to test him, honestly. Okay, so Kid Trunks, I expect a pretty good upgrade as well, similar to Goten. Uh, looks like the super attack did also get upgraded for one turn, all allies get attack increases 30%. And then for the leader skill, Kamehameha category, key plus 3. HP, attack, and defense increase 100%. And then for tech and physical types, key plus 3, HP, attack, and defense increases 70%. I'm not going to cover the link skills. The only difference is fierce battle is added onto it. Alright, uh, in terms of the passive skill, attack increase 120% and reduces damage taken by 40%. And then if you have a kid Goten or Krillin unit, uh, excluding the youth uh, version of Krillin, uh, same same thing as uh, kid Goten earlier, uh, on the, on the same uh, rotation, you're looking at additional 70% uh, toward attack and uh, reduction of 30% toward damage upon activating a super attack. So very, very, very good unit uh, with these upgrades. Uh, super attack, again, is the same deal. Um, looks like category-wise, I'm pretty sure it's still the same. Hybrid Saiyans, Majin Buu Saga Movie Heroes, Vegeta's Family, Youth, Super Saiyan, and Kamehameha. Now, the last but not least, uh, Slim Boo did also get a Dokkan Awakening. So, again, this is the Super Agility version. And let's take a look at what the uh, stats are here. 
Uh, leader skill looks like agility type key plus 3, HP attack and defense increases 90%, so this is actually pretty good for uh, secondary leaders on battlefield settings, so I, you know, I could certainly find uh, uh, usefulness for that, I think, in terms of just the leader skill alone. Uh, again, Fierce Battle was added to this unit. You're looking at a 15% increase toward attack with that. Uh, passive skill looks like 150% increase to attack and defense. And let's see, uh, for seven turns during the battle from like, you know, starting, starting rotation position, I guess you can say, uh, key plus three, additional attack and defense increase 150%. High chance to evade enemy attacks. Wow, this is uh, pretty phenomenal stuff. Um, they really didn't hold back on this one. Uh, let me just read this again. So flat out um, attack and defense increase 150%. Uh, for seven turns uh, from start of battle upon this guy showing up in a rotation. Uh, key plus three additional attack and defense increase 150%. High chance to evade enemy attacks. So, I hope you guys, again, like earlier, I hope you guys didn't sell copies of this until you got Max SA and, um, you know, unlocked all four dupe paths because these things will happen. Uh, this isn't the first time this has happened and it won't be the last. Uh, looks like in terms of categories, uh, Universe Survival, Resurrected Warriors, uh, Representatives of Universe 7, Transformation boost, artificial life forms, rivals, and the new Majin's power category. I don't know. I might end up testing this guy. I think personally, I'll probably end up testing this unit on the transformation boost category setup, uh, along with the Conquest of Terror team setup. You can build some pretty good teams with that. And the link sets, I, I think they're fairly straightforward. I mean, you got Innocence, um, Revival, Brainiacs, uh, Majin. Uh, I think it's like unlimited. Regeneration or whatever shocking speed fierce battle So I think I can come up with a pretty good team setup with this on the transformation boost conquest of terror category setup So uh, last but not least let's cover the uh, super attack. So along with causing supreme damage medium chance of stunning the enemy So you've got medium chance of stun built in with a super attack uh, Ridiculous amounts of attack and defense increase within you know at least the seven turns from the battle uh, And then you know also high chance of evade enemy attacks. So yeah, this is gonna be uh, pretty phenomenal unit. I'm very, very excited about this, and uh, yeah, I can't wait to test it along with the other two units. So a lot of good stuff to look forward to. We'll go ahead and keep it here, you know, close out and just cover the information. So hopefully you found it helpful. As always, thanks for watching, and I will catch you guys later. All right, peace out.